Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars, and I'd like to wish you all a very happy winter solstice 2016. Um, I thought I'd mention my own experience along the lines of that energy, that thin, pure, uh, clear, white energy of the winter solstice yesterday. Uh, I have to say that most of the day yesterday, if I was not meditating, then I was feeling like my nerves were on edge, kind of slightly irritated all day long, except when I meditated. So the clear message was meditate any time you can yesterday. And especially this energy increased uh, after sunset yesterday. You know, here on the on the Pacific coast, the, the solstice took place, I think it was around 2.44, in the morning, actually, the following today, in other words, the 21st. But the energies were building up like, like a bonfire of, of thin white light all day long. <clears throat> and it seemed to me this time, more than any other time, the kind of energy where everything dark and dense uh, gathers together. And at the very last moment, it seems, like at 2.44 a.m., at the exact moment of winter solstice, leaps out into the arms of God. <laughs> so, so, but what you know, what needs to be done in it, if in that kind of instance, is to just wait patiently and notice the darkness gathering all day long. It's like, how could it get any worse? And then it gets worse, you know. <laughs> and so, so with faith in God, you know, that's the thing. We need to know, no matter how things look to us in our human bodies, that God is taking care of everything, even the darkest and densest energies. So I thought I'd tell you, because usually I'm clairaudient and not clairvoyant, but last night was one of the exceptions when I saw some visions. Uh, in the one case, I saw a vision of like a person who felt compelled uh, to act in, in, an, in an animal sort of manner and f was it filled with hatred at the thought that he had, he had done that. And uh, at the moment that that happened, that he was filled with hatred, I, w I woke up like wide awake, you know. <laughs> and so I sat up and I started meditating. And, uh, and and after a while, the energy of like this 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 extreme uh, strong hatred energy started to dissipate in the newosphere. Apparently, it was happening like all over Earth, and uh, this was just what I saw was just like a symbol of what was happening in Gaia's newosphere. Right. So when I felt it appropriate and safe to do so, I I lay back down for a while, and not long thereafter. Right around that time, that 244 time, I again woke up all of a sudden. And what I felt was the energies that had been there before were like massing at the top of at my crown chakra, up above my crown chakra. And the intention of the ener energies, you know, some people call them adverse forces or uh, negative astral entities or whatever it was. It's I hear the strangest sound. Ah, it's just a jet. Wow. Anyway, um, it, it felt as if these adverse forces were massing above my crown chakra with the intent to descend down through my central vertical power current, straight down through my body and like with intention of malice, right? And this happens every once in a while, so it's like no new thing, but so, but not anticipated as a pleasurable event. <laughs> so I sat up to meditate immediately, right? And and what happened was I had a vision that these energies had descended like that inside of my inside of my body and were like tainting the central, like uh, it it's as if uh, the hollow core theory of of Earth, Agartha, the the astral plane of, of Earth, the electromagnetic field where there's a central uh, um, channel, it had been t 
tainted down from the North Pole down through actually the Northern Hemisphere, kind of mid-Northern Hemisphere, through that area. And suddenly there was this huge blowout of energy up through the South Pole of Earth and up up through my own first chakra, all the way up through the, the Kundalini uh, chakra and bursting out the top of my head and coming out at the same time in terms of visions and like sounds were these entities that had gotten partly in, partly into me or partly into Gaia. They came, they came shooting out like there was a gun, a giant explosion upwards, upwards towards the North Pole and out into the central sun. So that was a relief. It was a relief that everything turned out okay. And then suddenly, a, a series of like astral um, uh, events or nexuses or you might call gloms that had been bothering me in the preceding days, they had kept starting to come up and like aggregate as upsetting, like recurring uh, astral dreams, you know. They, they suddenly reduced in size. Now, I've spoken before about negative astral entities becoming very, very small in recent years uh, compared to before the shift. And this felt like all of those, like, personality issues, like three to five, maybe more, personality issues that kept coming up as, like, um, issues that could snag my etheric net uh, suddenly reduce greatly in size, physical size, something very, very small, something to do with like innocuous personality issues, and uh, and no longer had the power to um, to bother me at all. It was as if my own electromagnetic field, and I gather also the electromagnetic field of Earth became so huge during these, this energy of, of winter solstice that, that none of this mattered anymore. No issue to do with people ma mattered anymore. So, so where is Earth beyond all her beings and out there in the sacred space of the universe? How are we to adapt to this new way of being? These are the, the wonderful things that are to befall us, the mysteries that are to unfold during 2017. Judy Satori has spoken of 2017 as a year when the DNA uh, will be on the mend. The DNA of the, of the beings on earth will be on the, end, on the mend. And, and so, uh, and new capacities will come in, no doubt, because the DNA will be full unfolding more into 12 strand and not to and not that she has mentioned this but I say this may be true for all the beings on earth it might be true of the cetaceans the elephants you know it might be true of of the Lem Lemurians underground it might be true of the Maldekians and the the Martians and the Venusians and all the different planetary array of beingness that occurs here on this planet. So so might not just be human DNA, but as some say, Gaia Portal used to say, H U E M A N with a hyphen in between, the new hue, you know, might include all sentient beings of all varieties here on Earth. Varieties that many of us never even knew were here. <laughs> so so, so it's a good time for personality to be fading because we won't be in a position to recognize, honor, uplift, and communicate with all beings on earth unless we can set aside these small issues, these very small differences of personality. Well, a very happy uh, winter solstice to everyone, and I wish you all the best in the coming year. Perfect health, perfect happiness, plenty to eat. And just a world of joyful, peaceful endeavor.